Hello students. Now today in this chapter we are going to study about the which kind of forces non contact forces ok. See in our last chapter in our last lecture we have discussed about the contact forces. Now uh, we have already discussed about the difference about contact forces and non contact forces just you know uh, sort of a revision quick revision. So, for contact forces to come into uh, existence what is required it is very very essential for the contact forces that the substance that the where the force has to be produced ok. So, that contact has to be there ok and when I talk about non contact forces then what about the non contact forces children here there is no requirement of the substance or the layers to be in contact yes. See now when we spoke about the muscular force when we spoke about the frictional force ok in these kind of forces we have studied that what is required children it is very very essential to be in the contact is not it. But now we are talking about non contact forces. So, in non contact forces as the name itself suggests that the connection like it is not at all very necessary that the things where the force is being produced where the force has been produced is in contact yes ok. So, what can be the non contact type of forces names also we have discussed children. So, first of all which kind of force we are studying children non contact type of force ok. So, we are studying it is ok ok. So, what we are studying now non contact type of forces in non contact type of forces first of all we will study about magnetic force ok. We will study about magnetic force. Okay. Now, uh, what I think is it is not at all you know uh, a very new thing for you, uh, you people is not it everybody knows about the magnetic force how it is produced where it is produced what is a magnet is not it this just a quick revision will be uh, seeing over here. So, first of all magnetic force. So, how magnetic force is produced magnetic force is produced by a magnet is not it. Now, as I am saying that it is not at all essential for a magnetic force that when we have we when the magnetic force has to be produced the substance has to be in contact is not it ok. So, first point is what it is produced it is produced by magnet ok. Now, first of all before understanding what is magnetic force do not you do think that we should talk little bit about a magnet is not it. So, what is a magnet children a magnet first of all a magnet can be of various shapes is not it. So, the thing the magnet which I have drawn over here is which kind of magnet it is a bar shape is not it it is a bar shape of magnet. So, what I can write magnet exists in various shapes ok. Now, what can be the shapes what are the various shapes of magnet it can be see bar shape magnet disc shape magnet cylindrical magnets horseshoe shape of magnet ok two are very very common is not it which one the bar shape magnet and the horseshoe shape magnet is not it these two are very common and we have seen it 
okay it's, it's very uh, like everybody sees this too at least in the laboratories isn't it okay now to proceed before proceeding just want to tell you a little small story about the magnet that how magnet uh, you know how the world came to know about the magnet so uh, you know once there was a cowboy as usual he was going uh, he was taking his cattle okay and uh, just he was there in one of the grassland okay and just uh, he 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 was just while going he stood on one of the stone now he was wearing a chapel in this sandal or chapel whatsoever we call it there was small iron nails okay now with a small iron nails chapel he stood on this stone now when he stood on this stone as i told this stone was what actually it was a magnet so when he was trying to get down he was not able to get down why because those uh, sandals got stuck on the magnet obviously it is going to get stuck on the magnet isn't it so in this way magnet was first of all it came into like you know some people started doing about the magnet and then certainly and uh, people slowly slowly like it became very common popular then it was earlier also it was used in making compass which compass just to show the directions okay then the name also changed and so slowly it came it uh, it became familiar like we become familiar to the magnet okay so first of all magnet exist in various shapes now shapes can be what it can be uh, i just now i told uh, what this shape bar shaped magnet horseshoe shaped magnet isn't it now how many pole does a magnet has this is a very basic thing which i'm talking about how many pole does a magnet has so a magnet has how many pole a magnet has a magnet has two poles okay now which are the two poles the two poles are north pole and south pole okay it has got two poles one is north pole and the other is south pole now what is the most important characteristic of a magnet see uh, magnet attracts uh, few substances isn't it magnet attracts few substances will magnet attract everything whatever is there aside chalk dust it won't isn't it it won't then what it will attract what it is going to pull towards itself there are certain substances which magnet is going to pull towards itself okay now those substances which get attracted towards the magnet are known as magnetic substances okay those substances which get attracted towards magnet okay those substances which get attracted towards oh uh, i'll write this side now a uh, magnet are called as magnetic substances okay those substances which get attract towards the magnet are known as magnetic substances now please uh, i know you know at least one of the magnetic substances so what are the magnetic substances just quote examples in your mind itself so what are those it can be iron it can be nickel it can be cobalt isn't it so what are the 
magnetic substances. Now, which number it will be fifth? So, example iron. I'll just write the symbols now. Okay, nickel and cobalt. Okay, that means a magnet attracts few substances. Okay, now which kind of substances does it attracts, or what substances does it does oh my god it is does okay it happens sometimes so what substances does magnet attracts so those are what iron nickel and cobalt okay now that means this uh, the, like you know iron nickel and cobalt are known as what these are known as magnetic substances isn't it okay so now whatever thing Okay, whatever thing around us, like many plenty of things are there, but what iron, nickel, and cobalt will be attracted towards the magnet, and so it is known as what magnetic substances. Now, very important point, children. Again, now what is the next property of a magnet? <coughs> <coughs> Okay, now this is a magnet, isn't it? If I cut this into two, then what will happen? Obviously, it will. You will say it will get divided into two parts, isn't it? So it is now divided into two parts. But now again here, north and south part will be the, what developed, isn't it? Now I will again cut this into two parts. Now, what will happen children? Again, this is going to be what? It is going to form two poles. Again, north and south pole. Now, again if I cut this into two parts, again what I will get? Again, I will get two poles. What do I mean to say? I mean to say children that if you keep on cutting magnet into smaller smaller pieces okay if you keep on cutting magnets into smaller smaller pieces then too okay then too what will happen children it is going to form two poles okay that means you you know there are certain uh, students you know uh, in the class especially if you score them if you do anything with them, if they are not, that means they are not studying, isn't it? Uh, or even you know, at home, like if mama says anything, you know, if mama, you know, she says, uh, she tries a level best, ki please after coming from the school, you have to keep your things at the proper place. She does it 365 days, but how many of you do so? No, we do not do it, isn't it? That means we do not have that. Uh, you know that much of uh, like we are like what we are and we are in happy in that isn't it we do not have to change that is the thing with the magnet itself like you keep on cutting you keep on cutting the magnet but again what will be there two poles will be formed again hmm? that means if you if you get a smallest part okay if you get a smallest part of a magnet believe me trust me even in that it is going to have a north and a south pole that means what if you keep on cutting magnet into smaller smaller pieces but still it is going to have two poles that is north and south pole this is very important uh, you know uh, property of a magnet so just we'll write over here on cutting magnets again the north and south pole is formed isn't it or you know what we can write we can even write or we can say okay or we can say that even 
okay what we can say that even the smallest part okay the smallest part of a magnet okay will have what will have two poles okay so you keep on cutting your mama keep on saying please keep these things on the proper place but you won't do that isn't it in the same way if you keep on cutting the magnets and think that now in this small piece there will be no poles but no again you will be wrong because even in the smallest part of the magnet you will find two poles north and south pole okay now again the next point okay you have ever tried to bring two magnets very close to each other okay and just turn the th turn one of the magnet and then again try to bring the two magnets very close to each other if you have not done please do it and just check that what happens okay so if you do this okay what you will see that i think you all are very smart and you must be knowing okay now this is a magnet having north pole this side and south pole that side okay now if i bring another magnet okay if i bring another magnet and if i keep south pole this side and north pole this side what will happen children this will go this side and again this will come this side that means what a repulsion will be there isn't it what will be there children a repulsion will be there what is the meaning of repulsion it means moving apart to uh, you know like you go your uh, place and i'll be at my place isn't it you be happy yourself and i'll be happy in myself that means this one is going to move that side and this pole will come this side that means this magnet will come in the opposite direction that means they are not at all interested they will just move apart isn't it now if what you do this is a first condition children when i have kept two south poles together okay now the second thing what i will do i will bring this one here is south so i'll keep north here okay and then again if i keep like this that means what i mean to show is when south poles when the same poles come together they will be what they will be separated they will be repelled by each other isn't it now again north and north again what will happen children again it will be repelled means they will be moving in the opposite directions and what will be uh, what can be seen again children again there will be a repulsion okay again there will there will be what repulsion isn't it now now what is the third situation children i will just make a third situation also over here i will make a small north south and a small north south okay now i have changed the poles here we have got south and that it is north again it can be taken like you know vice versa also doesn't matter okay so it will also move this side and this will also move the side what is the scenario now here it is attraction it is what attraction so what does it proves what i have done what i did over here i have taken uh, what magnet okay and like what have how i have adjusted here in this one the similar poles are kept together so what will happen if similar poles are kept together they are going to repel each other again here also the same pole the similar poles are kept together and so again here also they are going to repel each other 
Now next one, last one here, I kept opposite poles together, isn't it? I kept opposite poles together and definitely here what will be seen? Attraction will be seen, okay. So how can we conclude? What shall I write over here? That same poles Okay, same poles of a magnet okay same poles of a magnet repels each other okay and opposite poles opposite poles of a magnet attracts each other. Okay. So, I think now seventh point is also clear to you all. Okay. Now, we will talk about the next property and before talking that what uh, is there any place over here to write? I do not think so. So, we will just revise it once children. Now, we are talking about which kind of forces? We are talking about non-contact forces. When I am talking about non-contact forces, that means these, okay, when this no, not at all, it is not essential for a magnet and a magnetic substance to be in contact. Okay, if it is not in contact, like it does not make difference only, okay, that magnetic force will be developed. Okay. So, before studying about the you know magnetic force, what is a magnetic force? Actually, we need to know what magnet is. Okay. So, magnet is a stone when we talk about the natural magnets, is not it? See, a natural magnet is what? It is a stone. Okay. But when we talk about the artificial magnets, then the iron can be converted into the magnets, is not it? The soft iron can be converted into magnets. There are again different, different processes of converting the what soft iron into the temporary iron or maybe the permanent iron. But now we are not into that, we are not talking that, we will be discussing the magnetic properties and then we will be talking about the magnetic force. So, I will just write over here, these are what? These are magnetic properties, is not it? These are magnetic properties. So, what is the first property that like I am talking about now magnetic what force, how it is produced children? Magnetic force is produced by magnet, okay. Then what is the next one? Like it has got two poles, north and south pole. If opposite poles are brought together, they will attract each other. If the similar poles are brought uh, closer to each other, they are going to repel each other, is not it? Now, then what is the next one? If you keep dividing magnet into smaller, smaller pieces children, but still what you will get? You will find what the even the smallest magnet will have what the north and the south pole. Okay. Then what is the next one? Uh, those substances which get attracted towards a magnet is known as magnetic substances. So, what are those substances? It is iron, nickel and cobalt. Okay. So, this we all have discussed. Now, we will talk about some other you know one or two more points and then about the magnetic force okay okay so now what can be the next property children that if you have you ever done this have you ever hanged a magnet okay being a child you need to do all this kind of things isn't it so if you hang a magnet then what will happen just take a bar magnet and tie it uh, with the help of a thread from the center and hang it. Okay. Then it will rotate obviously because you are hanging a thing and then uh, when it becomes stationary just think and see and observe that in which direction does it stops. Okay. In which direction does it stops. 
children when you will do this okay that when you will take a magnet you will tie it from a thread and when you hang it you will find you will observe you will see a magnet always pointing towards north and south direction isn't it so what a magnet will always show a magnet will always show north and south direction on what when it is suspended freely isn't it so how and what should i write i can write over here when i don't remember the number now okay so when a magnet this is again property children okay this is property when a magnet is suspended okay when a magnet is suspended freely it will always adjust itself in north okay which direction will it set up north and oh north and south direction okay so please have a look over here when a magnet is suspended okay when a magnet is suspended freely it will always edges itself in north and south direction isn't it that means what direction will it show it will edges it will always edges in the north and south direction so this all were what these all were the properties of the magnet but the main thing what is a magnetic force now just think about your the like of your own answer what can be a magnetic force children the force which is exerted by a magnet is a magnetic force isn't it when i say what is a muscular force so we have learned that that when a muscle exert force isn't it the force exerted by muscle is known as muscular force the force exerted by machine is known as uh, mechanical force so what is a magnetic force the force exerted by a magnet is what magnetic force isn't it so let me write the definition over here children the force i won't be able to write over here isn't it so i need to rub this property okay so the force exerted by a magnet is called as magnetic okay is called as magnetic force but just read the definition the force exerted by a magnet is called as magnetic force so but where magnet is exerting force okay so we need to write one more thing what it is the force exerted by a magnet where on magnetic substances so i can write over here on magnetic substances okay so the force exerted by a magnet on magnetic substance or on a on a magnetic substance is called as magnetic force is it is called as magnetic force okay now uh, just do one more small experiment at your home okay uh, sit near a table keep a iron ball or iron thing okay any uh, small uh no object made up of iron okay on the table i am saying okay where on the table 
and below that take a strong magnet. If you have a small magnet then take a small object, if you have a strong uh, magnet then you take strong uh, object and if you have very you know lighter magnet which is not weak magnet okay or small piece of a magnet then you take a smaller object okay. So, what I am talking what I am saying this is a table here you keep one object which is made up of iron okay. Now, below this what it is it I will keep one what magnet I will not keep you will only keep okay magnet. So, this is what children iron and this is what magnet. Now, if you want to show magic at your home you all can show is not it that when you are moving magnet the piece of the iron will also move ok. So, very important please pay attention now here now see iron and magnet are not in contact what is there in between A table is there that means they are not touching each other they are not in contact with each other is not it. But still you will find that magnet is quite capable of moving uh, that iron object or iron ball or iron substance or whatever ok. So, magnet will be able to move iron why because iron is a magnetic substance ok. So, in spite of iron if you keep in uh, the other two magnetic substance that in that case also you will find that the magnet is able to move that magnetic substance is not it. So, this is what about this, this what does it proves it proves that magnetic force is a non contact force is not it. If uh, you know do if you do this experiments by own these are very small very basic one you will get the magnets at your house only. So, if you do these things this uh, you know this small concept will you uh, know it will be fit in your mind is not it. So, this was all about magnetic force what is a magnetic force magnetic force is a force which is exerted on the magnetic substance by magnet ok and we have already read about the what properties also ok. Now, uh, do you think magnet is useful or just for the sake like it is there. So, for, for fun we are using it for playing purpose we are using it. So, if we talk about the uses of magnet children magnet is really very very useful ok in uh, just see your own room ok you, you, you will be uh, seeing many things where your in, in your room uh, magnets are available just see like maybe your own cupboards open the drawer open the cupboards ok and just leave it again your cupboard will shut is not it it will automatically get closed. So, why it is getting closed automatically children because in the door of your cupboard magnet is there in a magnetic substance is attached due to which what is happening as soon as you open it and because see uh, even like you know it is non contact force. So, it is not essential for you to close the door ok. If the door is open and it is there in the magnetic field ok. Then what will happen that magnet will get attracted uh, I am so sorry the magnet will attract the magnetic substance and your cupboard will be closed. Same is with the uh, case of few drawers or you know in your room even in the speakers the magnets are used ok. When you talk about your own house in the refrigerator uh, you know refrigerator just open the refrigerator and try to eat something there only and keep the door half open. Then what will happen you will find that the door automatically get closed is not it. So, why uh, this is there because again magnet and magnetic substance is kept there which get attracted ok that means magnetic substance get attracted towards the magnet and so the door get uh, not get the door get the door get closed is not it. So, in this way these are very helpful. Then ok you know I remember uh, one movie recently uh, you know I saw on television like uh, Sanjay that was there and he was showing a revolver his revolver to some other heroes ok. So, one of the hero what he did he just opened his belt ok he just removed the uh, some something from his belt and suddenly what happened the revolver from the Sanjay that's uh, hand it came uh, and got, got stuck to the opposite the this one's belt. 
So why does it happen? It was so funny to see that, you know. Uh, so what does it what, what does it prove? That again, magnetic substances get attracted towards the magnet. What I'm saying here that uh, one person was standing with a revolver, and the second just removed the uh, belt, you know, just showed that, that uh, small piece of uh, you know something is there, isn't it? So along with that, that magnet he must be having in that, and so that revolver got attracted towards the magnet ok. So, these are very uh, funny thing uh, which you often see in the movies and here and there from that also you need to you know directly you should say oh yeah see magnetic property this is a magnetic property ok. So, be little scientific ok. So, this was all about the magnetic force ok. Now, we will come to the next use of the magnetic uh, force or magnet. So, you know uh, in the industries when the scraps are thrown ok, scraps means when the uh, leftovers like maybe aluminum is there, some parts of iron is there ok, some different different uh, trash is there, uh, some different different you know substances are there, objects are there and it is mixed. Now, what is the task? The task is to remove the uh, iron from that. Hmm. So, again the magnetic uh, separator is there ok, it is like in a belt sort of a thing and it keeps on moving, it keeps on rotating, it keeps on rotating. So, when the this scrap is thrown on this, so whatever is what a magnetic substance made up of iron, nickel or cobalt, it get attracted to, to this belt and it is removed and the other one, the other which is non magnetic substance will be thrown there itself is not it. So, again it is used in the magnetic separation. Okay, what I am talking about, I am talking about the use of the magnet, I am saying that a magnet is also used in the magnetic separation, how that magnetic belt is there ok and it runs, it rotates and on this the scrap ok, the all waste over things of uh, industry ok, like pieces of iron, aluminum, cobalt and all these things are allowed to be on this bel belt ok, rotating belt. So, the magnetic substance get attract to that and get stuck to that and the rest one gets like it is thrown away, it is it gets fallen away ok. So, this is also one of the very important use that it is used that magnet is used the magnetic uh, the you know separation of the substances ok. Uh, I am very sure pretty sure that you also know about the maglev train is not it. Uh, maglev train is a train which runs on the you know it runs with a great speed of 580 kilometers per hour without track ok. So, it runs because of the property of what without tracks means the usual track which we have ok now magnetic properties there magnets are used over there as the tracks and due to it floats in the air actually due to magnetic force ok. So, it is not in detail uh, so would not be discussing much about this then again what can be the use you know again in the lift um, uh, this thing exactly many machines actually the magnets are used and you know in the cranes also now if you see if you have seen the cranes taking out lifting the things from and you know moving from one place to another you will see that even the cranes uh, use uh, magnets ok. What happen if the crane is made up of magnet the iron pieces ok the iron machines ok if a crane has to lift some machinery which is made up of what iron. So, due to presence of magnet again this iron machine will be attracted ok the crane is going to lift, but again it will be attracted and so it will be easier for the crane to lift the heavy machines or heavy objects of made up of magnetic substances ok. So, we have read lot about magnet magnet and magnetic substances and magnetic force also. So, I think that you all are pretty well now you know uh, you prepare for giving the question answers of this. So, uh, now we will shift or we will discuss the next type of force ok.